Hello guys, Joe with BitRaged. So I want to jump on here, talk about Bitcoin for a minute because I think it's at an interesting area. It's just starting to squeeze here in this falling wedge, starting to get a slowdown and then we pop to the upside. So I want to talk about some short term scenarios and also some of the longer term ones as well. So on the daily chart here, I wanted to showcase this. We were looking at this structure here. We broke out of it but you have to look at what happened after we broke out of this structure. We had some strong moves to the downside and then it just started to correct. So broke to the downside after we broke this structure, it started to give us a corrective structure. It didn't give us, you know, the typical impulse out, continuation like that, and then another drop. It just started to fall in this wedge style. So because of that, a couple things we can do with this structure. What I would do is evolve it to here, but I'm going to rein it out of the way just for a minute because I'm looking at this pattern and I wanted to show you what this could potentially turn into. So with this structure, you can see it's just a wedge, but could this be part of a bigger structure? Could this be part of a undeveloped structure? That's what you have to ask yourself we have a strong move to the downside. So could this pop to the upside, move up, move back down, give us this kind of structure? Could that happen? Then we'd have the impulse down. This would just be a big continuation to the downside. Why am I looking at that as a possibility? Because this structure here could turn into that. We've seen it happen in the past. Whenever you have a descending channel or a falling wedge after an impulse, that can happen. So the market very often does that. We'll have an impulse down, a descending channel, it moves back up, moves down, we get this kind of structure, and then this part here was always part of the bigger continuation structure. So if that happens a lot, that has to be factored in. Could this be just part of a bigger structure? It could. So you have to keep that in mind. But on the daily chart, you can see big descending channel and then falling wedge. From a technical perspective, we'd expect to see this break to the upside. We'd be looking for buys in this scenario. So four hour chart here, you can see just a big falling wedge. And then especially this price action here moves down, has some impulses within it, big correction though. And then it starts to really correct and give us very low volume and just slow down here. So you can see we had this low here, breaks the low, just corrects and then moves back to the upside. This is important to keep in mind. So. Again, just a big descending channel, but we had a move up and then this correction here right on the trend line. These kind of patterns are very, very high probability. You have a double bottom here. That's not as important as this structure here. So you can see move up, just a correction here right on the trend line, and then it moves up. So you can see one to three points of contact there, it makes sense structurally that this would pop to the upside. Now, I'm sure some of y'all are thinking, well, is it just Tether? Is it just Tether printing money and causing this pump? It's possible. It is definitely, definitely possible, but I think with these kind of structures, if it aligns with the structure and it makes sense, then you have to take it from a structural point of view. I wouldn't get too caught up in it. If you're going to trade Bitcoin, you're going to trade crypto, you understand the risks. If you're gonna trade anything, you should understand the risks. And so the, while this could be manipulation, from a structural point of view, it makes sense. So that's all I'm going to say about that. To take this long, I wouldn't just jump in here because you can see we've had 
a couple high test candles. We're at an area here right on the trend line where this could just correct and then drop. So what would be an ideal entry? What would we be looking at to take this as a long? Well, I'd simply be looking to see this give us this kind of structure. If we look back here at what Bitcoin has done in the past, this kind of structure here, if we had this structure here, I'd take that long. It'd be a very nice long. So if we get this kind of structure, just a continuation flag, I'd be taking that right on the trend line. It'd be very nice to the upside. What else could happen? We could get a similar type of pattern where this moves up, moves down, and then it gives us this, and then it drops. So if you do take this kind of setup, just keep in mind that, let's say you took it here, it could move up, break a little bit, and then drop because we're at this area. So while I would be interested in this area, especially if it was a very, very clear flag, just understand that it is possible for this to move up, break a little bit, and then drop, especially if this gave us a flag like this that could easily just break back to the downside. So continuation flag would be looking for a similar pattern as that to take it long. Alternatively, if this does move back to the downside, what could we look at to get in long again. So if this moves to the downside, this is very, very corrective, and it gets to this low here, we could potentially see a double bottom here, and it moves back to the upside. So double bottom, any kind of rejection, corrective nature there, would be interesting to keep in mind. One thing I will say here with this structure that I think a lot of people aren't looking at is Bitcoin could correct for another year. It doesn't have to, and I'm not making a prediction, but it could. And you have to have that in your mindset that this doesn't have to break out and move back to even 5,000 right now. This could just correct for a longer period of time. See, we have a falling wedge there. This could just move its way down, move up, move down, move up, move down, and then the structure doesn't change, still a descending channel, still looking for upside, but what it does do is it gives us a much bigger structure and Bitcoin is just in this consolidation for a longer period of time. So keep that in mind. Don't get so stuck on, well, this is the bottom, it's not going any lower than that. I've heard people say that a lot in the crypto space. I think it's important to understand that in the market, there is no real bottom where we could say it's not going any lower than this. This is the absolute bottom. Like we couldn't put in a line here and say, well, it's definitely not going any lower than that. If it moves back down, I would be aware of that area to potentially see this move back up. But also understanding that there is no real bottom. There is no such Thing as a bottom because the market can move up, it can move down, it can move in cycles, it could be sideways for a longer period of time. This could move back to 10,000 and then move all the way back down to three. So there is no, okay, this is what has to happen. And if you get to the point where you're like, well, this has to happen, it's not going any lower than that, then what you're doing is you're entering ego into the market. And if your ego is involved, the market will humble you. Because the market doesn't care about your ego, it doesn't care about what you want, the market will do what it wants to do, and we have to be ready to capitalize on that. So just keep that in mind as a possibility. I'm not saying this has to correct for that longer period of time, I'm saying it can. Having that possibility in your mind, take every setup that is valid long, but understand that this doesn't have to break out right now. It could, but it doesn't have to. So think in probabilities, but also understand the possible. The possible is that Bitcoin is in a corrective period for a longer period of time. And you just have to accept that as possible. So 
flag there on the trend line would be very, very nice to take this along. Alternatively, it moves back down and gives us a double bottom or moves back down to this structure here. The only other thing that I would keep in mind with this structure is, like I said on the daily chart, this can move up and give us this. Just a continuation to the downside. But either way, that is a decent distance. So I would be taking any valid setup along. Just keep that in mind so you're not caught off guard. So that's what we're looking at for Bitcoin. Those are some of the possibilities, some of the probabilities that I see right now. As this develops out, it will become clearer and clearer. But right now, it is a very strong possibility we do get along and we just have to see a continuation flag to confirm that. If this does impulse out of this structure, again, just look for a continuation bull flag to take that long. That's as simple as you have to keep it. So that's been it. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later.